Hey, so if you've watched my 100 Xbox 360 games in 10 minutes video, then you've probably picked up on the fact that I have a pretty large collection of Xbox 360 games. But actually, I've just got a pretty large collection of video games in general, um, and a big part of that comes down to my spending habits. I tend to root through thrift store shelves, I go to flea markets, um, I buy used games uh, whenever I go to chain retail stores. Very rarely do I ever buy anything new, almost never. I can think of a handful of games off the top of my head, like Halo 3, uh, the PS3 Twisted Metal, Duke Nukem Forever, which I don't actually regret, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, um, and uh, uh, Wolfenstein The New Order. Uh, back in 2014. That and The Old Blood are both games that I absolutely love. I will be picking up Wolfenstein The New Colossus on release day because I loved the last two Wolfenstein games so much. I did write reviews for those. I have video reviews for those. I'm going to link you to those because I am a whore and I love getting more clicks and yes. Um, but uh, I recently had a thrift store trip that was quite profitable. Uh, as far as things coming in. Uh, is the, oh god, the ninth? Okay, so it, it's taken me a little too long to get to this video. But uh, I went to uh, Value Village, um, and uh, here's this five CDs here. Uh, it was half off that day, so I paid $2.62 for everything here. Um, so $2.62 got me the sum of all fears, uh, Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, Tetris Elements, oh, fuck it, um, I like Tetris, uh, Battlefield 2 on PC, uh, and Battlefield Expansion Pack uh, Special Forces, um, also on PC. Uh, yeah, a bunch of PC games, usually PC games are the riskiest kinds of uh, game purchase you can make at a thrift store. Um, safest would be like if you find a cartridge game. Those generally are going to work unless you hear a rattling sound inside them. But uh, no, CDs, anything DVD based or CD based is kind of risky. But uh, these, every last one of these worked. Uh, in fact, um, usually with games of, of this age, I have to patch them up in order to get them to working. But no, every single one of these just installed right out of the box with no problems at all. Um, uh, and so I did capture footage for every one of these. Tetris Elements is pretty much exactly what you'd expect. It's a package of uh, Tetris and some, some variants and special modes. Um, but, you know, for me, the real draw is just playing friggin' normal Tetris. Uh, Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. I was a big fan of Warcraft and Warcraft 2. Um, and Warcraft 3 was the first game to be in 3D. Uh, and uh, what can I say? This is, uh, this is a game that I've been wanting to get my hands on my whole life. Uh, not my whole life, sorry. That's, that's, no. I've been wanting to get my hands on this for uh, the better part of, uh, of uh, the, you know, new millennium thus far. Uh, but not my whole life. Ramble, tangent. Point is, uh, so far what I've played of it, it's exactly what I would hope for out of a Warcraft game. Um, it's bright, it's colorful, um, it's surprisingly violent and gory for a uh, game that carries the teen rating. Uh, it's not quite as bloody and violent as uh, Warcraft 2, but I think that's more a function of the uh, 3D graphics and trying to keep a teen rating. For some reason, um, I find that uh, games of that era, or shortly before it, it was easier for them to carry a T rating when they were 2D. I mean, just look at StarCraft and Warcraft 2. These are both incredibly violent games that just carry a T rating. Um, the Sum of All Fears. Uh, this is another one of those games that I was really curious about. This one, I think, goes for $10 on Steam. Um, but, uh, again, this I, I paid so little for this, uh, and the game runs perfectly out of the gate. It's basically... It's basically, it's basically a Rainbow Six clone made with the Ghost Recon engine, and it's good. It's, um, uh, it's a, a tactically demanding, challenging game. Um, it's kind of light when you compare it to, um, uh, when you compare it to Ghost Recon, but your, uh, your teammate AI is all right. Um, uh, you change rules of engagement, you clear rooms, you try to remember to use flashbangs, and it is so easy to die! 
and very hard to get anywhere in. And it's exactly the kind of challenge that I've come to expect from a Tom Clancy first-person shooter. And so I was not disappointed in it. Uh, Battlefield 2 um, is gorgeous from what I've played. Um, it, uh, it looks uh, it, comparable to um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Uh, it's not as bloody, but it's it's chaotic, good fun. Um, the official GameSpy servers for this game are shut down, but you can still play this game offline if you have a copy of it. Um, and from what I understand, there are um, some community efforts to make the game playable online again through their own servers. I think that that has actually worked. I, you know, I, I have these games, I'm going to be looking into that further. Um, just to, just to see how much more fun I can squeeze out of it. But you know what? For what I paid for this game, um, being able to jump in and do like instant action single player battles is pretty fun and pretty worth it. And moving on, it's the expansion. Battlefield 2 Special Forces uh, is a version of Battlefield 2 that is somehow even more uh, reminiscent of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Yes, I realize that Battlefield 2 and this expansion pack predate it. But I'm just speaking about, like, the timeline of my experiences, not actual release history. Um, and yeah, uh, it's a... Uh, I, I found that I have to uh, be a little bit more careful in playing this game. Again, same thing applies, can only play single player um, until I look more into the uh, community revival. But, um... Uh, there's a bit more emphasis on um, uh, tactical approach and, uh, and suppression as well. Uh, enemies can use, and you can use obviously too, uh, tear gas, which can uh, really mess up your vision. I didn't get any footage of that, unfortunately. Um, but uh, you can put on a mask in order to um, sort of get through the tear gas without, uh, without impairing your ability to see or breathe. Uh, I think you take damage when that happens, too, when you get tear gassed. Uh, and you also wear night vision goggles uh, so that you can see in the dark, uh, which is important. And I, I haven't really fully explored all of the things that you can do in uh, this game and its, and its expansion. But, um, yeah, it was definitely worth it for what I paid. Both games look great, and I'm just running it on my laptop, which is really not the most imp impressive piece of hardware out there. Uh, so yeah, that was just one of my better thrift store hauls. It was, you know, five games for under three dollars. All of them play great, and all of them are a lot of fun. You, even, you know, simple-ass Tetris. I mean, if you're not having fun playing Tetris, then I, I think, I think you just don't really know how to have fun. Um, yeah, th this is exactly why I, uh, scour thrift stores. It's not my best thrift store find. My best would probably be the, um, 3DO, uh, which, um, I think I've mentioned before in other videos, but I'm just going to repeat myself because that's what I do, uh, because I'm just going to repeat myself because that's what I do. Uh, the Panasonic 3DO, uh, I got that for $8, uh, at actually the same, no, 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 not the same store. No, it... I don't know. That's kind of... No, it was the same store. Sorry, I just saw the address. It was absolutely the same store. Woo! Wasting your time! The Panasonic 3DO that I got, um, that system goes for, like, I think between 100 and 200 bucks now. Um, I found this system with their electronics kind of mixed in there for eight bucks. Um, I think that they thought it was a CD player. It didn't have a controller. I had to buy that separately. And then again, that broke and, and I fixed it with a chopstick and duct tape. Right. I just did a whole freaking video on that because I'm just going to repeat myself because that's what I do. Yeah. I found it for eight bucks. Um, and now I have a few games for it. I've got VR stalker and crash and burn and, um, total eclipse. Uh, and I, I spent so little on that 3DO and my very small, but uh, going to grow collection for it. And that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna talk about. That's all I can talk about. I've probably talked about it to death at this point. Video games, buying them for cheap. 
Anyway, have a good day or night, whenever, wherever you are watching this, and, um, and, uh, save money playing games? Because that's what I would want you to do, and I look a little bit like Jesus, and Jesus loves you. So, goodbye. Like,